Okay, take two of this video. Uh, in previous videos, I've shown shown you guys my bad boy mower. It's got a Kohler 7000 series motor. You can see what's little left of the name right there. Uh, after a couple of months of having the air filter mod, it works fantastic. Uh, I can't talk good enough about it. The air filter mod and E3 spark plugs um, have really got this thing running good. Now recently I started getting some carburetor problems and I run some sea foam through the gas. Hey, and that cleared it up. It had that low speed surge and I ain't kidding, that stuff took it right out of there. So I'm still thinking on ordering a they have um, replacement carburetors, and replacement carburetors have the adjustment screws on them, and I'm thinking on grabbing one. They're only about $30. But this video is going to be about um, this little device. It's called a charge controller, rectifier, voltage regulator, whatever. Um, First one says AC, this one says B, A, AC. So that middle one goes to the starter. And these two come off white lines that go to the stator, or come from the stator, however you want to say that. But Kohler and their stupidity. I'm going to show you things. If you have one of these mowers, like this thing burned up in probably my third mow. It's been burned up since 2016. And I've always, on my battery, I always keep a charger. I got a trickle charge, which uh, you can see right there. I put on that thing. And that's the only way I could keep this thing going. And I was trying to figure out why this thing won't charge what did Kohler do to mess it up it's not bad boy the charger is the the charging system is all on these guys Kohler and I need to tighten that down and uh, you know maybe I don't need to well anyhow this is bolted up you can see the oil filter, and you can see these white lines going up in there. Now, it's real hard to get to. If I took the shroud off, it'd be easier to work with. But there's, right where my finger is, is a plate, and the shroud bolts to it, and that charge controller bolts up just like this to that metal plate, that metal plate that's attached to the motor that gets what a hundred and some odd degrees and if anybody ever works with electronics will tell you never bake electronics because that's what causes them to fail and that's what I figured out I put a no-name brand um, in this unit now you see these wires coming out what I had done is I disconnected that and if you look at these, this one is spaced further than these two are. So that, that uh, plug-in is, des is designed, you know, to go on, on only one way. And what I had done, I, I knew that this, you can see how dark this is. This is supposed to be see-through. You're supposed to be able to see the electronics in there. But you can't because it's all burned up. Um... What I had done is I know this has to be cool. And what they're doing is they're sticking this top through and they're thinking that co that cool air is going to go over it. That's that it's right by that fan. Well the the heat, the metal, this is sitting right on the metal piece, right here and here. And so really there's no way for it to get cool. So this is what I did. On this frame piece right here, I drilled two uh, two screws, stainless steel, 
and I got it set off. I could run my fingers underneath there. So this is out of the heat. It's under the seat and it's out of the way. I put um, spade connectors that would slide on here and I wrapped them in tape and I ran it to the plug. It's right up underneath here. It's, I, I know it's hard to see and I plugged them into each one and I taped it off. Um, I don't know why all there's oil there. I might have spilled some when I was filling it. But anyhow, uh, I just got through mowing the yard. And my test to make sure that the charging system is working is to kill the motor and then restart it because always the battery is drained just by running it. And I pulled it off over here, turned it down, started it right back up. And I was like, man, did I figure it out. So this is the way, guys. You can mount this, and uh, this is the no-name brand. You got to get the right one for your motor. You know, mine isn't going to be <coughs> the right one for, you know, everybody else out there. So you got to get the right one for your motor. Motor. And um, I zip tied these off to where they're not going to move and come loose and stuff like that. And I believe I figured out the charge problem because this booger is burning up. Since 2000, since 2016 I've had this thing and it was burned up probably on the third mow. It couldn't handle the heat. And like I've been showing you on my videos, uh, ways to fix these stupid problems that these guys have. Uh, while I was bolting all this up, I didn't disconnect the battery. And I got to where I, I come over and I tried to start it and there was nothing going on. There's a fuse right there, 25 amp fuse. And somehow I must have touched something and it was burned up. That is a golf cart solenoid it's good for 150 amps 500 in a pinch I highly recommend them higher amp um, solenoids and it's hard to see but I got it mounted up similar like this so it stays cool and it doesn't bake it's stuff like that you guys that I'm, I'm figuring stuff out to make this thing uh, work and there's all sorts of videos of people having trouble with this motor and I'll tell you something. Uh, I went to Atwoods. No, not Atwoods. Yeah, Atwoods, which is similar to a tractor supply, but we got them down here in the south. And I looked at the new Kohlers. Now, I'm going to tell you them guys are copying my ideas, but, you know, there's a lot of people out there going to say, ah, oh, no, they're not. This is what they're doing. I pulled the air filter off. Instead of having the holes on the back side, they went straight down to where they have the holes that suck into the air filter from the outside. Instead of having this thing suck all that crap in and blowing it through the filter. So I think they may be listening to me. And if you go and you look at them, you'll see a sticker either right here or right here that, say, that says, Assembled in America... And it has an American flag, and it has these big letters, assembled in America. Then in smaller letters, with parts from USA and other countries. And I'm thinking, yeah, they uh, they seen my videos. They heard me talk about their stupid engineering. And right now, the uh, you know how these valve covers... If you take them off once, they leak forever. They have a replacement uh, composite one for them. And on the higher end units, they, um, they put all the higher end units with the composite valve covers. Now, like the 54 inch and the cheap, cheap mowers, they put the steel valve covers on. But uh, my idea uh, I think it's going to make this thing better. And uh, I'd like to get an oil cooler and put on this thing. That would be a good 
I think that'd be a good addition to it. I'm going to try to find a way to get to that carburetor and take that. There's a solenoid. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. It, it has a plunger and it comes up and it shuts the jet off. Them go bad. And I want to nip that in the bud before it happens. Now, I'm going to tell you people I have fixed a lot of the, them safeties. You'll see like this, here, and here. And a lot of people say, well, it's the government, you know, doing stuff to make us safer. Well, if the safeties didn't go bad, I wouldn't feel, I wouldn't feel bad about keeping them. But that is the first component that goes bad on all these damn mowers is that the stupid safeties, you know, mess up. And you sit here, you know, trying to find what goes to what, where it goes to where. You know, why is this not working? Why is that not working? Me, I'm the kind of guy, when I get on this daggum thing, I want it to work so I can get all this done. You know, it's a pain in the butt to sit here and have to mess with all this stuff. Because, you know, they, you know, made some weird crap. The Kohler engine, I keep doing crap to uh, try to make it better. Um, I may not. Here's a tip. See this oil filter? See how it's got a seal right there? Or, I mean, oil filler and dipstick tube. you got to make sure that's seated down in there far enough because... <sighs> I don't I think I found this thing just you know sticking out a little bit like that and it'll blow oil all over everything that might be what caused that but anyhow mine was on this charge controller and in the past this tells you how um, asinine Kohler is Kohler used to mount it right there just like that and you say, wow, that'd be great. It, it, it's easy to get to. No, they had to sit there and hide it. I looked for months to find that thing underneath this shroud. And uh, the old ones, if you have this mounted on the outside, the, the, the major problem is, number one, it's sitting, it's sitting on plastic. So you got to run a ground wire from this to either the negative or it that would be the best place to run a negative to the body of this. And then if you had one, what I would do is I would take the screws and I would offset that and set it off from that plastic because all that thing does is, you know, this plastic is hot and that's going to transfer to this. So if you can get that away from that, that may make it live. But this will be the number one problem, this charge controller, rectifier, voltage regulator, whatever they call it. But um, the second thing, there's a stator underneath there. And these have been known to, uh, on the flywheel, there's magnets that have a north and south and they go all around. And they make an AC charge. And this changes the AC to DC voltage. But I'm, I've seen it on these videos in there where that flywheel, the, they use such a cheap glue that them magnets would come unglued and stick to the stator. Uh, the stator runs about $100 for these things. I can't remember what I paid for this one. Being a no-name brand, uh, I can't remember. But the Kohler parts themselves are super expensive. And, but if you have this problem with the magnets coming off, don't fear, don't go freaking out, and don't go buying another flywheel. You can clean it, and there's videos out there to do it. You clean it, and then you take JB Weld, and you weld them back in place, and there's a certain way to do it. you got to watch the videos and learn how to do that, if you have that problem. So... Right now, I think I have fixed my charging problem. And so, right now, only time will tell. But, um, 
I guess that's enough for this video right now. But, uh, man, I need to clean this booger. Um, a quick, a quick one right up there. You see that grub screw on top of that oil filter? Right past the end of my finger? That is, uh, that came loose on me and that squirted a bunch of oil out once and I killed the motor before it lost all its oil. So make sure you got them tight. Check your oil filters, make sure the oil bypass on them ain't going bad because I've had one do that too. So anyhow guys, another great video on the Kohler. Like I said, it's not Bad Boy. Bad Boy buys these mower engines and puts on these boogers. It's the mower engine that has the charging system. Quick tip, they like to blow coils out. So I um, I ran a negative cable from there straight to the engine and I haven't had that problem yet. I was thinking that, it, that what they were doing was running the negative through the frame. But that's something I do is take a negative and run it to the frame and to the motor. And I think that might have helped out on that. So anyhow, guys, um, good video. Uh, just changed blades on that one, and uh, that's why the yard looks really good. So anyhow, I hope, I, I hope this video helps somebody out. So you guys have a good one, and we will see you on the next video.